Oh, there you go. Uh, what is up? We got Scythe and Strongbed here. Mirza hip hopping in on the mic. Yep. Uh, so what would you think about that last set, though? Oral coming back. That was, like, game one was crazy. Yeah, dude. Like, I, I, I thought Ripple was going to take it after uh, his showing at Big House, but yeah. Oro watching that game tape. Maybe that, maybe the patch pulling it, pulling yeah, it. Yeah, dude, for, that's for that uh, non tether grab sport. is really good. But we got Scythe strong bad here. Scythe opting to go Wolf. It's interest, interesting. I don't know how uh, spaces do against Wario. We've seen quite a few or quite a bit of uh, Wario between. Yeah, strong bad. Been making his way over to the stream, showing off. Had a really good set against. Uh, oh, really? Nice. But looks like uh, he, he's pulling ahead of sight. Uh, yep. There's a side beam. We don't see that often, Strong Bad. That's something but, that uh, Wario mains love to do is uh, play the ledge, and as soon as they see you like trying to approach them and, and uh, combat them, they'll side be coming up from the ledge. Kirby players do that a lot as well. Nice up smash by Scythe, though. Setting oh, up that edge guard and get the instant ledge. ramen. Something you do not want to do against Strong Bad is get caught in shield against him because he uses that bite a lot. We've seen him chain like two or three of them together. Yep. One after another. And as soon as you think you're free and like start like shielding again because you think he's like chasing after you, like he just like has his way. He's got his part ready. And we'll probably see him using we can see him using it ASAP. Yep. He likes to uh, get it off, start charging up another one immediately. A lot of Wario mains uh, tend to hold on to the fart the entire game to keep it as recovery. But if you uh, if you use it early, then you just build up your second one, and then you'll have it as the recovery option your later stocks when you need it most. Definitely. Nice back there by Scythe, and he gets the dare, oh. and that's going to be it. He Wario, cancels, but it's, it's not enough. his uppy is pretty garbage. A nice dash attack there, sending Scythe off stage, so he can finish this one off, and he just gives him the ledge. Questionable there, maybe he was trying to go for a dare or something. He gets one there, but Scythe at 200%. He's multi -shines. That's going to be it. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It goes a little too high. I think he might have been able to make it to the... Yeah, if the angle was a little bit more forward, it might have been good. But uh, Strong Bad would have been right there to nair him. Nair yep. back off. Nice up air to dash attack shine. See if he can follow this up anymore. But nope, 81%. Leading the stack after uh, falling a little bit behind the first couple ones. Ooh. Would have liked to see uh, Invincible Ledge Hop Aerial there from Scythe, but he just uh, came back onto the stage and allowed Strong Bad to up you right back. Ooh, oh, he, went for, he went for the, for the butt stomp. Yep, the, saw the startup frames oh. of that dare there. And that, that was probably a, a foot stool attempt. We've seen that a couple times now. Yeah, Strong, strong Bad, very big uh, proponent of the foot stool. Oh, dash tech, nothing. Strong Bad unable to get a follow up off of that. Has not used his fart yet. Yeah. Have to save it the entire game. Very surprising. Up throw, and oh, then the fart there. Oh, almost a kill. Yeah, the rising hitboxes of the fart, I don't think are as good as the actual fart itself, but I'm, I'm maybe it's just Wolf. It's very, very hard to kill off of the top. One of the one of the fastest, actually, the fastest falling yep. character in the game. Yep, he's got the uh, fastest fall speed. I don't think he has the fastest fast fall speed, though. I think right. Falco's got that. But uh, the, it's just his regular fall speed. Yeah. Uh, what's relevant for killing off the top? Exactly. Oh, that's short. Side yeah, game. shortens it once he knows that he won't be able to get the follow-up. Very smart. But Strong Bad trying to make a comeback here on this last stock. Ooh, as, as soon as he uh, sees like you missed the tech on that down throw, I think it is, like he'll always queue up that down smash. Yeah. It's a very, very good option to punish a missed tech. He that uses a fart. weak fart there, yep. All right, side so gets a down throw, up smash. That going to be it. Wario, very floaty character, susceptible to dying off the top. Both throwing out some whiff smash attacks. Yeah, they're both uh, spacing really well here. They really want to uh, avoid letting their opponent get Almost any. Almost that that oh, there he gets it. Do it. Yep. Yeah, so you, at that at that oh, final yeah. like hit percentage, like you really, really want to play out in the neutral to not let your opponent get, obviously, the strong hit that'll kill you, but along with those like weak hits that can set up into something really well. Because when your percentage is high like that, you get put into a lot of hit stun when you get hit. So Definitely. it's very easy to follow up. But uh, one, one of the, the design choices that the PMB DT tried to take was to try and make those follow-ups a little bit harder. Yeah. High percents. It, they, they buffed a lot of the knockback growth. Knockback moves growth, exactly. And lowered the, the, the base knockback. Right? On a lot of down throws, we saw increased knockback growth, but decreased base knockback. So at low percents, it's easier to combo. But higher percentage, it'll knock them further away to uh, like increase the chance of uh, getting out of combos at higher percent. Because a lot of follow-ups were guaranteed back in 3.0.
Yeah, uh, so but now they're trying to grade like a more varied combo. So yep. It's not quite uh, links down throw up to exactly. Uh, it, part of the design philosophy was uh, characters who or players who have uh, a lot of knowledge on their follow-ups based on percents, the character they're fighting, and DI. Like that. That's how you get your combo game going. Not like definitely. instant combos, like Lucas's magnet or like right. his down throw and stuff like that. Definitely. And it definitely makes for a more interesting game. Yeah, I mean, uh, gets a lot of gets rid of a lot of uh, salt-inducing characters like we saw in that last patch. Yeah, Interesting definitely. to see who comes out on top now. Ooh, nice snare. It doesn't get the shine out there, but strong bit. That up throw That's up air. Clap. That clap. I don't know if the clap was buffed. I really didn't read Wario's change log, but it looks just to be a little bit stronger than it used to. The, the only change that I'm aware of is that they changed the dash grab to not be like the side B. I think it's still. I, I think now it just looks like a regular dash grab. Okay. But, uh, yeah, because it was a good mix up. It looked made it look like they were coming with the side B, but uh, actually it grabbed out of it. Nice back air there, Scythe trying to take care of the stock, get a, almost a full stock lead going, but Strong Bag going to play it out really safe here, comes in with the Dacus, going to follow it up, tries to get the dash stack, Scythe follows Shine. Safe up smash there by Scythe, gets a dare, doesn't get the back air, Strong Bag gets him to down, down here, up throw fart, not going to do it quite at 96%, Strong Bag going all out for it. We're seeing a bit more uh, fart usage than last game already. Yep. Being pretty aggro at that side B off stage too, something else we didn't see. Ooh, that up smash gotta do it. 173 on a floaty character, most certainly. And, uh, but Strong Red just needs one big hit. And, uh, yeah, and that backer is gonna do it. No DI, trying game. to get that uh, wave land after the laser. Nice falling up right there by Scythe. Unfortunately, doesn't get a follow up out of it. Gets these jabs though. Nair Shine, staple of Wolf's combo tree. Combo forest, as a lot of people like to say. Got so many follow-ups. Yeah. Wow, I would like would have liked to see a dash attack there. It looked like Strong Bad was laying down just a little bit too long. But that is why I am the commentator and not the player. Getting the uh, the non-kill hitbox of the up smash, but that down smash pretty good. Good follow-up out of that back air. Just tech chases and gets that down smash. Really nice by Scythe there. See if he can close out this final stock and potentially send Strong Bad to losers. But Strong Bad does have a part saved up. Yes, so. he does. We might see a really quick combo to bring it back uh, even. He's got all kinds of tricks hiding up that butt. Ooh, fight to dash attack. And oh. then forward air, up air, and then Oh, there it is. All right, we got Really, really nice there. Now, just about evened up the game. 24% is no certainly not a lead. But Wolf is going to make everybody use out of it. Yes. Those low percent, like when, low, uh, when Wolf shines the most. Shines literally shines and shines. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It just gets so much uh, crazy combos going after low Ooh. percent. The shield pressure. That that shield is getting awfully low. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, really nice. The forward smash to read the roll. A little miss grab there by Strong Bay. Gonna try to space out a fair, but Scythe putting out some crazy hitboxes right now. Not getting this last sight in stock has been all Scythe. Strong Bay just trying to find his footing. Nice down tilt there, but it's not going to be enough. Unless we're doing a good job of cutting off the uh, Ooh. side of the And that's going to take that it. Reverse up smash. Strong bad. Nice job to Scythe. Knock yeah, it out. Very, very good strong by Scythe. Bad out of winners. I wouldn't call it an upset. Scythe, Scythe is a very strong player here definitely. in Chicago, but Strong bad definitely one of the uh, players' favorite to take the tournament. So.